Hello, Libra, and welcome to Intuitive, Intuitive Clarity with Allison Nichols. Libra, this is going to be your general uh, November 2018 tarot reading. And so because it is general, do remember if it doesn't necessarily resonate with you, um, please check out your moon and rising sign as well, and maybe that will resonate a little bit better. Ooh, we've got some cards of flying. Um, while I am shuffling, I do want to do a quick infomercial. I am running a sale from November 1st through January 31st on my Intuitive Clarity reading. So if you click on the link below, the prices have already been um, taken down. Each one has been taken down $10. So the price is on there. The sale price is on there and try to help you get through some of the holidays and through the first of the year with a little spiritual advice if you need it at a lower rate. So with that being said, uh, Libra, I wanna go ahead and start. It does look like the um, month of November does start out with a little bit of a heartbreak. Um, I did get the Three of Swords, Libra, and of course, we're as always, we're going to do a lot of clarifying here, but I did get the Three of Swords, and so that, that could mean that there's a little bit of heartache um, to start off the month of November. However, ending is, looks like it's ending on a good note. You got the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands, um, I always look at that as climbing the corporate ladder or um uh, basically, you're you're very close to the top of whatever project, almost finished with whatever project that you're working on. Um, it could mean that, or it could mean that you're very close to getting that, um, you know, next uh, opportunity as far as promotions and whatnot. Ones are um, primarily they're about work, career. They're also about passion. So it could be a new passion that you've been working on, a new hobby or whatever that's getting ready to. Um, be in completion. So that's that's a great uh, ending to November. Now, while I'm shuffling, I want to go ahead and do the oops, do the numerology. Um, all righty. Um, to start off the beginning of the month, we've got um, three. So interesting. So it's going to start off with um, the energy of the number three, Libra. And actually, that's a good energy because I, I call that energy the building your tribe energy. It's when you sometimes it's when pregnancies are announced um, or but it's usually bringing someone in um, to your world or something new into your world. So it could be a new passion, a new career, a new job, a new project. Um, it could be someone new that you bring in in order to help you, um, you know, complete whatever this project might be. So we'll continue on, though, here. And um, the beginning number energy of three is actually good because it, it appears like you could be um, meeting new folks uh, that you want to bring into your world. So that's good. So let's see what that's about here. Okay. Now, um, to clarify the three, I did get the bouquet of flowers, but I got it reversed. When the bouquet of flowers is straight up, Libra, it's about gifts coming your way. Um, it's it's about a, a long and, and happy life, all right? Now, because it's reversed, I'm seeing where there is a little bit of a disruption, um, perhaps with your love life. Um, or something to do with someone very close to you. Um, it could be friends, okay, family members, whatever. But it appears as if um, with the swords here, it appears as if there might be some cutting off um, of someone or something uh, that possibly there's been a falling out or it's just time to, you know, move away from that. But I'm going to clarify that even more. Now, my nine of wands... I have the home, and this always is um, my card that reminds me of home repairs. So um, if there's some type of a project that you've been working on with your home, um, it appears like you could be getting to the, finally, to the end of it in November. You might be wrapping some things up uh, when it comes to any home repairs. 
any repairing, and that could even be just repairing things within your home as far as the people within the home if there's been any conflict, all right, <laughs> any conflict uh, that does appear like there could be at the beginning of the month. It appears by the end of the month you're going to be clearing that up if it's about conflict and not actually about repairing a home. Or even um, this could even be almost the end of if you're building that November could be almost the end of the building. So um, almost time to move into your new home. So let me do another clarifying card here. And see what we have. Overall, it's looking pretty good. It looks like it starts out a little shaky for you in the month of November, uh, Libra, but it doesn't. Okay, dropping cards, sorry. It, I'm in a tight space this time. Um, I had to move rooms today. But anyway, it doesn't appear like it is going to last throughout the end of the month. Um, I do like that whatever your project is that you were you were fixing, because I do believe you're fixing something, something's going on, You're or moving into a new home. It appears like that is going to go well with that nine of wands, so I'm pretty happy to see that. Now let's see what clarifying cards we have. Perfect. New beginnings. Okay, this is great, um, Libra. So to clarify my three of swords and my bouquet of flowers, I have the judgment card. All right, um, right there. So it appears like there could be, and this could even, with my judgment card, it could mean um, legal um, issues, all right? So if there was a pending divorce or a pending um, severing of some ties with someone in a legal matter, it appears November is going to be the month where it actually comes to a close for you. Um, which is interesting because I got a new beginning for the second half of November. So if you are severing some ties um, in a legal matter, it appears this is going to happen during the first couple weeks of November. Now, if it has nothing to do with law, this actually is the sign of, um, I'm sorry, and this actually is uh, the card meaning is judgment in general. So it could be that due to someone being judgmental, it's causing some chaos going on here. All right. Some unhappiness within um, within your heart, within something or someone to do with your heart. So um, with that being said, though, it looks like you have the new beginning coming in at the end of the month. So whatever this um, this distraction or destruction is up here, by the end of the month, you've got new stuff coming in. You've got a project that is going that is very close to being completed. Um, I do believe it's around um, either your you know something to do with your home. This could also have something to do with your foundation as far as your career because I do see this as a foundation card. So it could be there's a project that you're cleaning up and getting ready to move on to something new when it comes to work. Um, so it looks like in general, uh, Libra, that November is, uh, it's it's a pretty mellow month. It's There's a bit of a upset, um, some sadness perhaps at the beginning of the month, but it appears by the end of the month, you've kind of moved on and um, you're ready to get into something new. Now, because this is, hats, which is normally cups, this oftentimes is a meaning of a new love. So if there was something going on here as far as your love life, maybe maybe someone was too judgmental of you and you cut them off, all right? Or maybe you started to see them for who they were. You're judging them for what they really are and you cut them off. Um, but it appears like there could be a new love coming your way too if you choose to have that by the end of the month already. Um, so good news for Libra. Libras are my lovers. Um, now I want to do one last clarifying card here for you, Libra, and then I'm going to, well, I'm also going to do numerology and see where we're at. So let's see what I've got going on here. We started with a three. Three. It ends in a three. 
Okay, so you're starting off possibly shedding maybe someone in your tribe and ending with someone new is what it almost appears to be. So let's see how you're going to feel overall by the end of November and see what's going on. Now, when I get this card, this also is my card for um, the cheater, too. So I do want to um, clarify that as well. Um, so if it's got something to do with love and even in business, um, I see it as someone who is cheating, doing, um, you know, has something or someone on the side um, or not telling everything that there is to tell. So let's see how you're oh, OK. Oh, good. Fabulous. So by the end of November, you're going to be feeling um, a little flirty. OK, there it looks like with my page of cups, Libra, he is my guy who is bringing in new romance. He's very much the flirt, the page of cups. Um, so it appears like you might be having a new infatuation coming in. Um, when I have the page, it's new and there again, I've got a new um, love interest coming in as well. So it appears that if you are breaking up with someone at the beginning of the month or something is ending at the beginning of the month, it appears like you're going to have an opportunity to go out and um, find someone new at toward by the end of the month. So this is great. Um, it's like a Libra to move on. So it's one of the things I love about Libra. Um, so it does appear that whatever this um, starts out with, you're by the end of the month, you're going to be over it. And everything is going to start rolling right along. Now, I know in your yearly forecast, you had a fabulous um, yearly forecast. And I know last month was great, too. So um, Libra, whatever this is going on, know that there is new opportunities coming your way. If this isn't about a new love, all right, this just could be, in general, new opportunities coming your way when it comes to work and building on your foundation. All right, um, so that's what I have, uh, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it you know, helps you out if you're going through something at the beginning of the month to know by the end of the month you're going to be just fine. Um, I, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, click all the buttons, please. Um, follow me on Facebook. The, uh, you can find my Facebook page um, in my uh, channel. So if you just go to my channel, you should be able to find all the buttons to find everything about me. Um, so I want you to have a fabulous November. Enjoy the holiday if you're going to celebrate. And as always, Libra, I'm sending loving energy your way. Bye-bye.